one is in a neoclassic style. So I believe that next uh, next time that you will be back, you will have found nice and refurbished. So if I say that, we say that. That's going to be beautiful. Yeah. So this is uh, uh, the San Museum. We have two rivers here in Benevento, Calore and Sabato. Especially on pastime, uh, often we well, use the stone from the river in order to build up. Yeah. Okay. So these kind of stones are the typical stones you know, from the river. Mm -hmm. And this one is original. So of course this is the back part. It's all modern, you know. With I was going to say that's new. <laughs> modern, modern technology, but here we have an important museum where we have oh, town. We had some problems with uh, with uh, with water. Yes, we did. So in front of us, this mountain we call it La Bella Dormiente. Huh? This looks like a woman sleeping. You know? So yeah. the, the head yeah. up there, the body and the feet. And you see, yeah. La Bella Dormiente is called. Uh, so we said the very old history from the city of Caravento and why? So the a very simple uh, um, reason, because in past time, so they used to build up city next to rivers, uh, because of course the, the, the water was something very important. So here on this valley, on the confluation of two rivers, so Calore river and Sabato river. That one was up from up there to down the city, and the other one from the other side. So it's between the confluence of these two rivers. The city was founded by Diomede. The Greek legend says that Diomede was the founder of this uh, town. Diomede, that he was uh, an important soldier during the Greek battle, but when he came back at home, he found the lady with another woman, with another man. <laughs> so he got crazy about about this and said, "Well, it's no reason that I can stay here. So what I can do better? I'm able on doing uh, uh, navigation, on doing uh, uh, wars. So it's what is my life. So he left again, the um, you know, is Ithaca, and he came back uh, on the coast, and he found a city here, Benevento." Of course, this is a Greek legend, but the history says that the city was found by some night people, some night, some niti, mm -hmm. eh? from where comes also the name. We are called Beneventani eh? or Saniti, eh? like uh, the, the place uh, you know where you American, come from. What, no, 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 the San Leucio del Sanio, because Sanio is all the region, and the origin is from. Uh, all the province and the origin is from this population that came here in the 7th century BC so a very old origin, a very old history so they came from uh, Abruzzo Abruzzo is another region on the middle part of Italy eh? on the center of Italy my husband was Capruzzo okay, okay so the, um, and why they came over here? because uh, this population had the tradition so on time uh, and on period of uh, problems uh, of a uh, um, bad economy, people where the, they had, uh, you know, for example, heavy rains or problem with snow, so you know, no enough food for everybody. They used to do a bear sacrum, uh, a, a particular uh, uh, celebration, so that they said to God, well, we do not give you our kids, uh, but uh, next year, next winter, all the all. Uh, all the food that we will touch is for God, eh? and the, the kids that will born on this year, they will leave the area. So this was a tradition. Eh? Mm. And uh, in a, which way? So all the, as soon as these kids were, you know, on the age 18, eh? they had to leave the Abruzzi, the main uh, um, uh, patria, for other for other places. How? So following an animal, a sack animal, and this this time the people that came to Benevento follow an uh, um, a white boar. White, white boar. boar. Eh? So the white boar had to, to a sack white boar had to give the way, and this um, this guy has to follow him. So this animal came in this direction. This was the place where they had to found a new city. Eh? Okay. So this is the origin, and this was the way as some night moved all around the south of Italy. Eh? So a, a way, a south way, you know, in order to 
to give the population a second chance when was not enough uh, wealth for everybody. Right. Right? Nice. So this was the origin. So some night population. We do not know much after uh, this uh, of the some night that came here in Benevento because uh, mainly there were people that was just uh, um, uh, you know living on peace, uh, growing up uh, with their kids. Uh, and uh, you know, living this area. But what, when we know about some night, when they had a fight against the Romans, eh? because Romans want this area. <coughs> so uh, some uh, some night they became able on wars. Eh? So very proud of the population that they had. This is our area. We are proud of it. Mm -hmm. So very heavy fight with Romans. So we know the history of some night by the Romans because Romans start to talk, start to write right. about some nights of Benevento. Eh? But very, very, uh, even though the Roman, of course, uh, were very strong and very able to do wars, but uh, lots of troubles here in Benevento with some nights. Well, not only Benevento because uh, some nights started to spread. To, to spread eh? right. So a fight of 50 years with some night, eh? <laughs> and this was really this is the proudest thing nowadays of uh, uh, you know, our. So area. it was never conquered by the Romans. Yeah, well they were at the end, but after 50 mm -hmm. years, 50, mm -hmm. eh? 50 years, 50 years of wars. So Romans had really big troubles, uh, you know, to win, uh, to win uh, Benevento. Benevento, all on wars. Eh? So very proud of the population that they had. This is our area, we are proud of it. Mm -hmm. So very heavy fight with Romans. So we know the history of some night by the Romans, because Romans uh -huh. start to talk, start to write right. about right. some nights of Benevento. Eh? But very, very, uh, even though the Roman, of course, uh, were very strong and very able to do wars, but very, lots of troubles here in Benevento with some knights. Well, not only Benevento, because uh, some knights started to spread. To, to spread eh? right. So a fight of 50 years with some knights. Eh? <laughs> and this was really, this is the proudest thing nowadays of uh, uh, you know, our So area. it was never conquered by the Romans? Yeah, well, they were at the end, but after 50 mm -hmm. years, 50, mm -hmm. eh? 50 years, 50 years of wars. So, Romans had really big troubles, uh, you know, to win, uh, to win uh, Benevento. Benevento. Oh, the Battle of Benevento. The Samnite uh, used a, a very strange game to win the Roman. In uh, uh, Monte Sarcio, near a, a, a little town uh, on the direction of Naples, there is uh, a valley called uh, uh, Furche Caudina. Because uh, uh, Valle Caudina is a uh, it's a very narrow place, a very narrow place. So, the, the, between to pass through Monte Sarto, you need to pass in this valley very narrow. So what the some knight did when the Roman became very strong and big, they knew that some knights were strong, so they came with, with a lot, a lot of people. So really a trouble this time yeah. for some knight because anyway, were very small in compared to Rome, of course. So um, they leave some people. You know, on the, um, uh, some farmers next to the, the soldiers, the Roman soldiers, said, well, you have to go to Benevento. Ah, yes. So, look, if you go this way, it's very far away. So if you use this street, you will have three days less of a walk. So it's a, it's a narrow valley, yeah. but, you know, it's a short way. Eh? <laughs> so they went inside this, this okay. valley. When they arrived at some point, uh, they found uh, uh, the mm, you know the uh, gates yeah a wall yeah. Wow. a wall so they were trying to going back uh, but they found on the way back another wall so they were just kept inside so at the some night and the Forca Gaudina said that uh, the soldiers from Benevento they used to put the um, the um, how do you call it the, the um, things for the spear, spear? spear? Eh, on this way, and they let pass through all the soldiers without clothes and take a joke of them. Mm -hmm. eh? So this was very bad. So the Romans had to come back in Rome eh, without no clothes. without clothes <laughs> and saying that they had this uh, this adventure with with the with the <laughs> people from Benevento. This was very bad eh, from the people from Rome. Very bad. So next time, uh, this was really the last time for some night. Probably this was a mistake of some night people, 
because they had probably better if they kill all of them. Yes. But like this, really, they got very crazy. Yeah. And uh, so revenge. they came back and they had the revenge. So finally, the uh, some knight lost, but after 50 years, wow. 50 years, it's really a big battle. Uh, Imagine for a small population in compare to uh, the power spent, the bad event. So after finally they win against uh, the Sun Knight, they change the name. So not uh, a bad event, but a good event. So mal evento in benevento, which benevento is similar to a good event. So benevento. So after that, of course. Uh, um, uh, Benevento became a Roman city and a very important Roman city because uh, very soon uh, there was the place, the middle way between uh, the commerce, the traffic between Rome and the other side in Puglia. Uh, so if you look at the map, uh, so Rome, which is on the uh, Tyrrhenian Sea, and Puglia on the other side, the Brindisi, so on Apulia on the other side, and Benevento was on the middle way. Uh, so they Build an important street called the Via Appia, oh, yeah. and it was passing through Benevento, and Benevento became very important at this time, so an important place. So we have many rest of Roman time that recalls this important history. We see, we just seen some capitals, some big capitals mm -hmm. that we're gonna point to, right. also there, mm -hmm. also uh, later on when we come back, and we have an important. Uh, uh, um, theater here of 60,000 spectators in Benevento, which is on the bottom part of the city, which still is in a very good condition. We still use uh, in, uh, um, in the summertime for events. Uh, so that recalls uh, the importance of this city on, uh, on the Roman time. We have an important arch, the arch of the Traiano. Yeah, we see Traian it's arch, because Traiano was really loved of this city, came here many times. Uh, and uh, in order to make, you know, a way to make short on the way to Brindisi, passing, uh, uh, you know, in another way. So uh, the way was shorter of two days, very important this time. The Via Appia was made shorter. So Traiano was here in the event a few times, and this arch was built uh, thanks to him, which is a very, you know, still in a very good condition. We, pass, uh, we lost a lot of the Roman uh, um, uh, structure, and also because of the Middle Age, uh, uh, you know, many builds uh, were built on top on of, top the yeah. of the of the of the, um, the original builds. Mm -hmm. So they were used as uh, foundation. Oh, okay. And also another reason is because uh, uh, blocks of marble, for example, when were reused, uh, were reused for building up new structures. So many times, uh, unfortunately, you know. Uh, all the structures were destroyed or used, uh, you know, for build the new park. So that's why we have many rests. You can see many rests. You can understand easily the history, but we do not have, you know, we do not have a Pompeii, for example, yeah, right, that shows right. the grandiosity. Right. But this is the only one example because, of course, covered by Asher, Labilus, or Rome, like the Colosseum. But for sure, an important history. So historical understand a lot. Uh, Important is um, um, you know Gothic, Visigothic, or uh, Saracens, because uh, you know the Roman Empire, the big Roman Empire, was destroyed, and even Rome was attached many times. So at this time uh, came here Lombards, Lombards from the north of Europe. Uh, so the population comes from north of Europe, uh, and they established here. Uh, the Lombardia Minor. So Rome, again, Benevento was an important city because it was the capital city of the Lom of the um, Lombar Lombardia, Lombardia. Lombardia Minor. We have the Lombardia Major in Pavia, the north of Italy. So this population from Germany came here and established, uh, you know, a new rule with the capital city Benevento. So we have an important rest of uh, Longombardi, which is the Chiesa di Santa Sofia, Santa Sofia Church, that I will show you later on. So after the, uh, the Lombard, um, was a fight again in Benevento, between the reign of the two Sicily, the capital city of Naples, but the people from Benevento didn't want the rule of uh, Naples, so they chose the rule of the Pope. So after this time, Benevento was under the rule of the Pope. So, 
This structure that we see just in front of us, we see the main facility, which is called the Rocca dei Rettori, was uh, uh, the fortress of Rettori, Rettori where the people um, in charge of the city chosen by the Pope, so the Rettori of the Pope. Eh? So this was the main fortress, and of course, on this time, this was the highest point of the city of Benevento, so the most safe place, and this was the fortress. And we date back, this was the 13th century. We're going back, I would like, should, I would like to show you the main facade and show you the department. Even though in the historical center we have a um, law, uh, we have um, um, engineering, uh, science, and geology, biology, so Panamerico is getting quite an important university, even though it has been founded no more than 15 years in Italy, 15 years ago. Uh, wow! So this is structure over here, this was a mill. Uh, nowadays... The grey building? Yes, the grey okay. building. Nowadays uh, it's, a, it's a hotel, uh, but it used to be a, a, a flower mill. Mm -hmm. Using the power of the water. Now there is uh, this an hotel. Okay. So uh, in front here we have the stadium of Benevento. I see, you it. see I the see stadium. It. Mm -hmm. Next to me is the biggest. If you see many umbrellas, white umbrellas, yeah. just next to it. On Saturday morning there is the biggest market, market, market. of uh, the city of Benevento. Oh, wow. nice. Every uh, Saturday morning is very big, you know, you saw all the part uh, on the left side of oh, the... That could be fun. Yeah. And uh, just to give you an, uh, you know, on top of there, uh, so behind uh, this, uh, this little hill, in there is uh, um, uh, San Lencio di San. Uh, ah, okay, okay. Some of those. So this is the lower part, this is the Rione Libertà, I suppose, and this is, uh, you know, the more popular area mm -hmm. of, uh, of Benevento. Okay. Behind on this way, we cannot see it, uh, is the uh, zona, the station, the railway station of the zona. So we know that it was in 1861. Uh, so Italian was unified by Garibaldi, eh? because before right. that, you know that uh, it was divided into two states. And uh, after the in the regions. Right. Right. We are here in Campania region, mm -hmm. yeah? Campania, but this is divided in 20 regions. So all the regions are 20. We are here in Campania with the five provinces. Naples is the capital city. Then we have Casetta, the northern side, Salerno, the southern side, and then Avellino and Benevento, the internal part. But on this time, uh, People from Benevento want something different. They do not want to do the same uh, region with uh, the coastline. Because uh, they said, well, we have a different life, different problems you know, on the coastline on the internal part. But they want to do a Molisagno. So connect near, uh, Benevento in one uh, region with another part of the region which is called the Molise. Uh, so, the old sun night, the old sun moon. Mm -hmm. And this was this structure was built in order to be the main seat of the of the um, of the region called Molisagno, the capital city Benevento. But unfortunately this uh, program was never uh, never made. So this structure was used. so that's why we see the grandiosity of this structure. Uh, inside the, the rock the rector, those are original. Right. Uh, this one, of course, is a recopy of the 17 of the 1800. Right. But when start the neoclassic style? So after the finding of Pompeii and the Tulaneo. So you have to know that after uh, this town was destroyed by the volcano, like uh, people forget about this event. Right. So 25 meters of material covered completely these cities. Right. Right? And uh, on the Middle Age, people like forget this event. On the middle of 18, uh, during some excavation of the garden, a person found a marble statue. So he ordered to do some more excavation, and uh, um, 
they realized, very soon they realized that the whole city was under the ground. So they were just on, next to the theater of Herculaneum. So they started systematic excavation. And of course, this was a, really a big change for the history because, of course, Rome, but uh, never uh, something like uh, so original, so in the world preserved, was like Pompeii and Herculaneum. Right. Eh? right. So, this time started a current, a um, um, cultural current that spread, starting from uh, here, from Naples, uh, from the, the Campania region, spread all over Europe, all over the world. This was the neoclassic. So, neoclassic, a Latin word which means similar to the classic culture. Oh, right, right, right. right. So, and this was the kind of build that uh, built on this time, so 1800. Oh, sorry. Using sorry, sorry. these columns, uh, using the top of the windows, uh, the, the part just uh, right. lowered the facade, uh, yes. and this, this mask up here, so typical structure mm -hmm. uh, of the 1800 neoclassic style, so after the, the final drop of the all this, uh, this bit uh, round. Right. Ceramics is another typical product, is a typical production of a uh, Campania region on the coastline. Uh, I don't know if you have heard Vietri sul Mare, Vietri sul Mare or Cerreto Sanita. Mm -hmm. So we have an important production, an old uh, artisan activity on producing ceramics. Mm -hmm. eh? So ceramics are uh, um, used even on the interior and the outside of the house. It's yes. a material that we find quite a lot. So here has been used to embellish the facade of this, uh, um, this field. And all these coasts are the coast of all the, uh, the 73 uh, um, municipalities of the province of Benevento. Mm. Wow. So each one, 73. So, so, yes, and on top of there are written the names. For example, yes. Balcone, Pudonantotto, uh, San, San Giorgio del Sannio, uh, so the 73 wow. municipalities, yeah, because Benevento is anyway capital city of the province of Benevento. And blue. Mm -hmm. and so if you're going there, you will... Uh, yeah. you will uh, so giallo, verde, verde and yeah. blue. And, uh, so and blue well. that recalls the sky and the sea. Mm -hmm. uh, green, uh, the rich vegetation mm -hmm. along the coastline. And yellow of the sun and from and uh, for the lemons lemon. also oh, yeah, lemon because there is a great production of lemons, lemons on the coastline yeah. and the lemon <laughs> That's so, the good <laughs> stuff. Uh, so that, that's you see that in the sorry. To work at Ravana. So or, if, does Ravana predate that or Ravano? Ravana. 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 On the coast, on the west coast, uh, south of Venice. There's all the. Uh, 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 probably you mean Murano. Murano. No. Benevento in the middle. And Brindisi and Bari. So Benevento was between, you know, Rome and Brindisi, and this was the Via Appia eh, that connects eh, the the one uh, coastline, so the the uh, Tyrrhenian Sea with the Mediterranean Sea on the other side. So Benevento was just in the middle, was uh, you know a connection point between the two sea. Eh, that's why an important nevralgic point for the commerce eh, on the. Of uh, the main church of the city of Benevento, Chiesa di Santa Sofia, Santa Sofia Church. 